Hello everyone. So today we are going to uh, look into how to do damage replication and complete the replication of attacks in this strategy template. So if I select this red character and try to attack this guy, now you can see from this window, this guy is coming here. You can see the moment is replicated and the attacking behavior is also replicated. in both multiplayer game instance okay now dead so if i now try to attack from the blue side now you see they are coming to this character and while i do that let me get ask them to attack the other guys so everything is working the replication they just don't have a way to like intelligently select opponents or anything but the attack replication part is working and this is what we are going to work on today okay so last time when we play as the server we implemented this far when I select these characters and right click on the one of these enemies they can go to those enemies and attack but as you can see the enemy is not showing any reaction and it's not dying so that's the next step we need to resolve but if I play this as the server see now it shows the reaction and the character dies right so this is this happens because the damage in part is not replicated so let me open the top-down character blueprint and when we attack we call this damage on the attack target with damage amount 20 now since the enemy is also a uh, child of this BB top down character, we have the same event here, so we need to make sure this event is replicated. Now, just like before, we need two functions two custom events damage multicast and another one damage server so this should be running on server and this should be a multicast and I'll connect this part to the multicast event and we can promote this damage amount as a parameter okay now this uh, damage on server event should simply call damage multicast event uh, like this and when we get this interface call we should check as authority 
and if we do have the authority we should call damage multicast uh, do we need attacker we do have attacker reference but at the moment i'm not using for anything so i'll just leave it unconnected and if we do not have the authority that means if we are the server we should call damage server okay right now if i change the net mode to play as client and play the damage engine should be replicated here like this see now it happens even if we are the client okay now if i go to the go to real two player mode and play in navigator window this should still work yeah it is working but here we have a problem so if i try to select one of these players and try to attack it's not working we don't get the knife icon the reason is this let me open the top down controller and here is we set the cursor somewhere here we call this on hover right this on hover event where do we call this Okay, here what happens is we simply return this enemy variable but this was before we were implement we implementing a multiplayer environment this was only when i was thinking about a single player play so that's why i had this enemy variable but now that we have implemented a team system where this Blue characters belongs to one team and red characters belongs to another team and I could play as both teams so in a multiplayer so therefore this having this variable does not make sense so what should be we do is we should give the team number so I'll edit this interface on hover instead of this i'll give an integer key. compile save now we would have errors yeah like this so now we get the error and from the selected actors here we can get the first one and get key and then we can compare this T number if they are equal that means we do not have to attack them that means they are in the same time the same team they are not enemies but if they are not equal that means they are enemies so we should check if they are not equal if it is true crosshairs that's where how we get the hand 
so how we get the knife and if not we will get the hand that means they are not enemies okay D. like this Now let's check. So let's first check this. So this part is still working. Yeah, now let's try check from the other team. Did I select the guy? No, I haven't. First I have to select otherwise I can't attack. So yeah, I get the attack icon. Let's right click. Oh yeah, wait. Is he coming to attack? I'm not sure if... Yeah, I think I just simply clicked somewhere. So attacking is not working. For the other team. Now let's see why. Where do we do the attack command? Here. Where do we first call it? Alright, here we have his enemy. So this is enemy is simply returning. This This is top down controller here. Yeah. Okay, this uh, is enemy is simply returning this variable, but that's not the way it should be. So in order to say if one character is enemy or not, we need an input team number to compare with the internal team number. So is enemy. Where did I do this? Is it coming from BPI actions? Yeah, is enemy. I'll add an input attack T should be an integer. Right now, here check if it is not equal to the internal team number of this character. If this is true. That means they are enemies. Right now, here we need to give the attacker T for that. In order to come on, we should have at least selected few selected actors, at least one selected actors. And yeah. But I don't think we check that anywhere. Do we? We don't. Yeah. Okay. So we need to get selected actors and check the length of selected actors are larger than zero that means we have few selected actors if that is the case we can get the first element and get t from that element right now it should work let's see yeah at 
is coming to attack now. Let's see. Yeah, it can attack and it can kill. Let's see. By the way, is it replicated here? Yeah, see? It's replicated. So we can let's select this guy. And yeah, now we can see in this window they're coming to this guy and attacking. Okay, so the replication complete for attacks. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Bye.